Good morning, sir. My name is Moses Kang. I'm a special agent with the Diplomatic Security Service. Moses, great to be here. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, what we can expect. What are we going to see today? Uh, we have an exciting day planned ahead. Uh, we're going to start with the tactical maze, some vehicle scenarios, and hopefully at the end uh, we're going to see some vehicle ramming. I'm looking forward to that. Let's get started. How are you doing? Good, sir. Thanks nice for doing this. <laughs> Thank you. This is like your, not, not, not your day job, right? No, it isn't, sir. Uh, Diplomatic Security Service is the security and law enforcement arm of the Department of State. Domestically, we lead investigations. We also do dignitary protection. So, so what are we seeing here? Sir, this is a tactical maze. Um, this is the DSS training facility where we train with firearms, small arms, long arms. Hmm. Here, sir. What you're about to see now is gonna be an arrest scenario. They're creating what's called a stack, mm -hmm. so that when they make entry, that everyone knows exactly where to go inside the room. Please, turn your hands! Turn around, get on the ground. So even putting handcuffs on, yeah. that's a fine motor skill. And yeah. When you're yeah. under stress, that's yeah, something can, that we had to continually practice. I, I can over imagine and over that. Again. That's why I was just thinking that. But. Yeah. A lot of agents, uh, they have a love-hate relationship with the attack base <laughs> and the handcuffs because it's just these little details that when it slows down and you kind of get a little bit of a tunnel vision, yeah. it really slows down your actions. There's so many other things that DS does besides what I guess most people might associate it with, which are the protective details. Tell us a little bit about the other kinds of things that DS agents are involved in. Yes, sir. So once the DSS agents complete a uh, basic special agent course, they will conduct federal investigations, search warrants, arrest warrants, yep. like you saw on a day-to-day -day basis. And we do that with our counterpart agencies like the FBI, or the Marshals, specifically for visa and passport fraud. All right, I'm gonna head this way, sir. Great. We're unique in the sense that we are federal law enforcement officers, um, but we are also foreign service security specialists. If you're doing investigations for one or two years, um, and the next position you're gonna have is uh, an overseas position, you kinda have to switch gears and learn a completely new skill set in managing security programs, managing people, and also working in an environment that is not the United States. You're gonna have to learn another language. Um, you're gonna have to do all these things that are gonna take you outside of your comfort zone. And every two, three years, um, it's a new experience, it's a new position. So, Moses, what actually brought you to diplomatic security in the first place? Sir, in all honesty, this is kind of a dream job for me. Um, in my previous life, I was a, a local law enforcement officer. I also uh, did a few years in the military. Um, and when I found out about this job, uh, it incorporated everything I would like in a career, <laughs> as well as in public service. I found out that we do federal investigations, we do law enforcement work, and also the fact that we go overseas, mm -hmm. and that we serve as yeah. uh, RSOs and ARSOs and um, do security management mm -hmm. for um, embassies overseas. And the fact that we get to represent the United States overseas, I think that's an yeah. incredible privilege. Um, and selfishly, I also like the fact that I could bring my family overseas. They get to see all these incredible places, and I don't think any other law enforcement agency actually offers that that opportunity. DSS is just incredible for the opportunities it brings. It's not just federal law enforcement, it's not just security management, but you work with FSOs, you work with diplomats, you work with foreign nationals in, in a way that I don't think any other agency is going to afford. Of course, I'm grateful for it every single day, but just to see the incredible variety of things the DS team does. Yeah, incredible. it's a privilege, sir. Hey, Mark, how are you? Good afternoon, sir. The exercise that we have prepared to demonstrate for you here today is the ramming exercise. Mm -hmm. The ramming exercise here is designed specifically for attack situations. An example would be if some bad actors were to use a car and block the road in front of you, mm -hmm. block the road behind you, at this point, you need to forcibly remove a car from your path. Mm -hmm. Now, that may sound like a daunting task, but the reality is it's actually very easy to do. So, sir, we actually have an opportunity for you to participate if you're up for it. I'd love to. All right, let's go. All right. 
All right, sir, we're going to do barricade breaching, also mm -hmm. known as ramming. The goal here is to rotate this vehicle out of our way on mm -hmm. two of its tires. Ready to go. All right, here we go. All right, look at that front tire. Get your eyes on. Slow roll, slow roll, slow roll. Ram, gas, go, go, go! Yeah, good hit. Perfect, all right. perfect alignment. Great job. Oh, all right, man, that thing really moves. Yep. Hard left, and right we should be good right about here. All right. right here. Perfect. Excellent job, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. How was that, sir? <laughs> that was incredible. You know I haven't been behind the wheel in almost three years, so just getting behind the wheel was a lot of fun, but I really never imagined that doing what we just did uh, would, would, would be like what it was. I think he, everyone who imagines they've ever been in a car accident, it's a little bit intimidating to think of this, but there's a real technique to it. Uh, our instructor was able to teach me in five minutes. It's an invaluable skill, especially it's a skill that you can learn very quickly. I, I for one, love doing this. So, Moses, I get to see you uh, pretty regularly around the world in DC on the, the detail, but tell, tell me a little bit about what the, the day in, day out is like for you. So DS agents, they could be assigned protection detail like you mentioned. We could be RSOs, ARSOs overseas doing security management mm -hmm. for embassies, or we could be in a high level dignitary uh, event like the UN General Assembly. Mm -hmm. All this training, it, it prepares you for all the eventualities and the events that could happen in your career. To me, DSS is the pinnacle of law enforcement service. They have such a variety of missions that you could experience. Um, you could do investigations. You could represent the United States government overseas as an RSO. Just the, the, the depth and magnitude of the positions that you could hold as a US public servant, it, it drew me. So if someone wanted to get involved, wanted to uh, look at joining DS, what should they do? How do they do it? I say go for it. Uh, just apply online. It's an incredible experience. Um, I have colleagues that were formal scientists, formal professors. Mm -hmm. Some of them were formal PGA golf professionals. Huh. Huh. Um, but we uh, value everybody's skill set, mm -hmm. um, what their experiences bring to the table. And I think that's important for foreign service. And I say if you are willing to live a life full of adventure, mm -hmm. this is the career for you. And I think for both of us, um, going to work every day with the American flag, either literally or figuratively behind your back, that's also a big part of the inspiration. Yes, sir, and it is a privilege. Well, it's been a, it's a great day. Thanks for taking us around. Thank you, sir, for coming.